Hey, 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 hey. You know, you're so nosy. This is really insane. Listen, a nosy woman was spying on her neighbor as she got her head stuck in the metal gate for five hours. Okay, this nosy lady found herself in an embarrassing predicament after she got her head stuck in a gate while trying to snoop on her next door neighbor. Listen. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening, family. I just gotta let you. I got to do this story. I, I just have to because it's too insane. And this gives Miss Kravitz a whole new look. And for those of y'all who remember Miss Kravitz, let me know if you do. <laughs> this woman squeezed her head through the metal bars in an effort to snoop on the people next door. And it took five hours to free this nosy cow from the gate. Okay, let me go ahead and just uh, tell y'all what this story said. <laughs> this is a story by Noble Borens. Um, <laughs> it comes out of the elite reader. Uh, but check this out, y'all. Sometimes it's best to mind your own freaking business. How long and how many times have you heard that? Or have your mama ever told you that? You know, it just seemed like so many of us have never been given any rules or boundaries uh, in our lives. So some of us have been given too many, and some of us haven't been given any at all. So, But I'll take the ones that have been given too many rather than the ones that haven't been given any at all. Because sometimes you find yourself involved in a situation like this. Because I don't know what possessed somebody, what will possess them to go out off their porch to somebody else's damn house and stick their head through that person's security gate. I mean, I, okay. A nosy woman who had been trying to spy on her next door neighbor got more than she bargained for. The eavesdropping lady got her head stuck in her neighbor's metal gate and couldn't get it out for five hours. The incident took place in the city of um, La Virginia, where the woman was reportedly trying to eavesdrop on her neighbor. The lady is believed to have been trying to spy on her neighbor and find something to gossip about with her friends. Unfortunately, the nosy woman decided to push her hair through the bars Sorry. Unfortunately, the nosy, the nosy woman decided to push her head through the bars of the woman's metal gate. Although she managed to force her head through, she was unable to force herself from the gate. But why? Why? So, the woman's predicament certainly caused some drama in the neighborhood. Firefighters had to be called in to free her from the gate. Although the men tried their best to get the lady out of the embarrassing situation, it took them five hours to finally pull her head from the bars. Her head was stuck in the woman's apartment. It's unclear why it took so long to get the nosy out of the gate. <laughs> However, some believe that the firefighters had a hard time dealing with the situation because they were also trying not to laugh at this crazy, hilarious situation. Naturally, the photos of the nosy neighbors found their way all over social media, and people immediately made it go viral. Some believe it was a swift form of karma on the woman trying to spy on her neighbor while others stated that it should be a lesson for anyone who loves to gossip. Now, what she is should be happy about. It is still unclear, though, what happened to the intrusive woman after she was freed from the gate, although it is believed that she was mostly unharmed. Hopefully, 
she has learned a lesson and will avoid her snooping on her neighbors just for a bit of gossip. Maybe she's learned her lesson. Um, you know, how many of y'all got nosy people in your life? What do you think? Do you think, um, that she went a little too far? And are you surprised that the person inside the resident didn't just come in to slapping her in the face while there was nothing she would be able to do about it because she couldn't move her face? Don't you think she was blessed? I don't know. That's just my take on it. Because that could have went a lot worse. The paramedics could have got there and her neck could have been broke and broke off. Okay? It depends on what kind of people she done put her head in on, especially if it was a drug house or somebody getting high or somebody freaking out or somebody paranoid and your head is just nothing but your head is in their house. If you stick your arms through the bar to try to fight them or something, all they got to do is push down real hard and then your arms are broke too. So you got a broken neck and broken neck and a broken arms and they all dangling. This makes no sense. I, I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Tell me what you think. All right. I'm out of here, y'all. Y'all, this is just too much. Merch to merch.